Well, students, I'm gonna show you how to make a vases and faces optical illusion. So the cool thing about it is it's an illusion of positive and negative space where some people, when they look at the illusion, they see two faces that are looking at each other. Sometimes the first thing people see is they see this vase or kind of looks like a goblet or like a fancy, like even like a trophy in the center. So it depends on which you see first as your positive space and then as you point out the space around it, you see that negative space. So there's gonna be a variety of colors to pick from. I'm gonna do mine just with the traditional black and white. You're gonna take your first paper and you're gonna fold it. Now it's important that you line it up so you can make sure that it's straight. And if you need to set it down, gonna line it up. And then once you crease it, you're gonna to wanna to get two faces out of this. So you wanna start on the open side. If I were to start um, on the fold, it would be connected. So that's why I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to make a line here. So this is the fold, I'm gonna leave that alone. Right here is about halfway that little mark right here is halfway between the edge and the fold. And that's, I wanna make sure the nose goes over that. The nose is gonna be as, get as close to the fold without touching the fold as I can make it. So I'm gonna make it, and I'm gonna start with making the forehead, and that's almost gonna come out to that line. And I'm gonna make the forehead kinda of come down. I'm gonna follow that example a little bit. I'm gonna make kind of an eyebrow line and that's using not quite half my paper, probably like a quarter. And then the nose, I'm gonna make a mark here because this is where I want the end of the nose to end up. So I'm gonna make a diagonal line that comes out. That's gonna be the end of the nose. You can see it's making it pretty close to the fold. I'm gonna make kind of a backward C shape to make the end of the nose. And then I'm gonna make a top lip with a line that comes down, and kind of make a V shape where the lips would separate the top from the bottom lip. And then I'm gonna make kind of another backward C shape. So it's got the top lip and the bottom lip. Then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna come around. This is the chin. So I'm gonna make my way, just like this one kind of comes back to the beginning. And that's gonna be the end of my um, the end of my chin kind of coming back to where my neck would be. So you can see that the nose makes it pretty close to the fold. Sometimes I'll have students where they make it really small right here. That's why I made this line here that's halfway between the edge of the paper and the fold to make sure that the nose goes over halfway. It gets pretty close to the fold. Now, when it's time to cut it, I'm glad that I started on the open side because now I'm gonna get two faces out of this. I'm gonna hold this here and I'm gonna take my scissors, the paper is folded, and I'm gonna cut on this line. I wanna make sure to cut this out in one piece. If I'm a little bit off the line, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make that the back of my paper. That's the side that's gonna get the glue. So cut it out in one piece, working my way around. That's why I've got the scissors opened up big. I'm not gonna cut through that line. Work my way around here. You can see I'm a little bit off the line and that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Work my way up, hold the paper together. And now I've got two faces, okay? I'm gonna use this, this is gonna be my vase, so I'm gonna set that aside a minute and I'm gonna show you after what to do with this. So since this has pencil on it, I'm gonna flip that over and I'm just gonna organize these like this. It's important that you do this so you know which side gets the glue. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to make sure that I just make a little X lightly on that side that shows that that's the side that's gonna get the glue. It's the side that has the pencil line because if I put the glue, for example, if I put the glue on this side, 
I can't get it to fit on here. That's why I set it up. I put an X on that side that's saying that it gets the glue. When you glue it, twist your cap, turn your glue up just a little bit, not a lot. Glue this really well. Glue the middle, glue the edges. If you get some glue on the table, that is fine. We're gonna have a towel, we'll wipe it off. So it's okay to get a little bit of glue on the table. Then I'm gonna take this. It's important to line it up. Line it up with this side. Once I line it up, then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna press it down. Now this one, I'm glad that I found the side that has the pencil line so I don't end up having to erase that. If this part of my table right here is sticky, that's why I moved it up here, so then I don't get glue on the top of my paper. I would never put glue on the black paper. I always put the glue on the shape that I'm setting down. So glue the middle, get your edges all the way out, even if you get glue on the table. Line it up. Check that it's lined up, that it's not hanging off the edge. Once it looks good, you can press it down. And this is gonna be two-sided. So you can see, like this one, has a blue vase on the front, has a black vase on the other side. So I'm gonna flip this over. Let me just move this one out of the way. This is the one that has the pencil on it. So that's the side that gets the glue. This is the nice clean side. So if I take this, I moved my paper away from the table spot that had glue, glue the middle, glue the edges, get all the way out on the edges, Glue is only turned up a little bit so it doesn't get smushed. Go all the way out to the edges on the whole thing. Once I get glue all around it, then I'm gonna line this up along the top here, make sure it's gonna fit. Sometimes the paper is a slightly different size, so just make it, make it as close as you can, just kind of line it up. Looks like that will fit here. Once I line it up, and then take it and press it all the way down, okay? I, since it is two-sided, I don't want you to write your name really big all over it. I would like you to just pick the side that looks the best to you and put your name small in the corner. So for me, I do think this side is the better side so that's why I'm gonna take this side and I would put my name kind of small in this corner. And you can write your class code. Um, if you're a fifth grader, it would be five and then it's the name of your teacher. So we'll get your class code in the corner. And then if there's time, I may have you make a second one if there's with a different set of colors. If there isn't time, then we'll just make one and we'll make sure that our glue gets turned down, cap twisted on, and you can see I have no scraps. You shouldn't have any leftover paper. Scissors and glue will get put away, name on one side, and then this is the side that'll show. Okay. So let's have fun working on these vases and faces.